How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to bleed the brakes and the clutch and then hopefully get it running so I can drive it out of the garage because this thing's been in here for three years apart from me pushing it in and out. So it'd be nice to actually drive it um, even if it's just putting it to outside and then I will um, yeah just get it running up to temp and make sure she's not going to get too hot. So I'll get my old man to um, give me a hand to bleed the brakes and the clutch. We'll do that now. Pump it. Yeah. Hold it. Now, so hold it. Alright guys, pretty exciting. We now have brakes and clutch. So um, it was pretty, not too hard. It was good. Um, tip for if you're going to bleed your clutch is there's actually a air release valve, well, or bleeder screw there. So we actually bleed it from here first, just push the clutch to the ground and drain the air out of that and then did the one on the um, slave cylinder underneath and um, that, that, that worked good. Yeah, and then just for the brakes, started at the furthest caliper um, from the master cylinder and then just worked our way through. Um, got all the air out, or any air out. So yeah, now the plan is we'll put the wheels back on and then lower it down and then hopefully drive it out of the garage. There we go. Guys, so the car is down on the ground and the time is finally come to drive it hopefully out of the garage. So we'll see how we go. Uh, start it up, check it goes into reverse, check everything sweet with the brakes and the clutch and then yeah, we'll see if we can get her out of here. Alright, so as it was starting to temperatures beginning to build, I noticed there was a leak here because I actually had, I had another one of these little clamps on there, but it wasn't enough. And I was dripping from that, so I've beefed it up with this um, clamp. So hopefully that will hold. So we'll fire it up again and see how we go. seems to have stopped, which is good. Now 
I'm just going to um, open up the bleed screw just there. Just had to make a temporary uh, auto overflow because uh, it was going everywhere. So we'll keep keep trying. Guys, I've had the car running for a while now. It's um, sitting at like 70 degrees Celsius at the moment on the temperature gauge, which is pretty good. Um, I haven't actually had to bleed. I let the air um, screw out just to see. Um, but yeah, it seems to be running pretty good. Yeah, as you can see, it's um, sitting at about 70 and oil pressure is about 30, which is two bar, which is apparently what's meant to be at idle. So yeah, it's fun. Might take it for a bit of a um, drive. I'm gonna take it for a wee drive and uh, put the old fire extinguishers just in case. Took it for a drive down the road. Feels so good to drive it again. Far out. Three years. It's all been worth it. Nah, it's a month. So good to have it going again. Um, so, I think it deserves a wash. It's been in the garage for long enough. Let's give it a clean. guys so good result I was able to drive the car which is a pretty cool feeling after not driving it for three years so yeah super stoked so that does it for this video remember to like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one See you.